Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability. The Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority predicts more than $4.5 billion will be spent for 29 projects by the end of 2024. Review Journal's Jen Ah brings us an update on some major ones. Jen? Renee, the largest project on the horizon is the Fountain Blue Las Vegas, expected to be completed by the end of next year. The company just released these new renderings of its entrance and pool complex. The inside is mostly decked out in white and gold, mid-century modern decor. And the $1.9 billion MSG Spear at the Venetian is already in the midst of installing its gigantic LED screen, nicknamed the Mohawk. Station Casino's $750 million casino project in southwest Las Vegas is also in the works. And Majestic Las Vegas is being built on the former Clarion Hotel site across from the Las Vegas Convention Center. To read the full list, head over to LVRJ.com. Renee? Now to your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. Police have identified a suspect in the killing of a woman outside of an apartment complex in northeast Las Vegas. 29-year-old Ellis Coleman was booked into Clark County Detention Center on a warrant for one count of murder. Police say he fatally shot 29-year-old Ben Kedra Johnson after an argument outside the Nellis Garden Apartments on Nellis Boulevard. According to an arrest report, Coleman was identified from police body cam footage from a traffic stop just five days before the shooting. And an arrest has been made in a fatal shooting from last summer, and the suspect was identified because police say he left his driver's license at the scene. Jonathan Appling of California is accused of shooting and killing Robert Huff on Karen Avenue back in July. Police say Appling was the boyfriend of one of the women moving out of Huff's apartment. An argument ensued between the two men, which led to the shooting. Appling's due in court on Monday. And the U.S. Postal Inspection Service is looking into recent robberies of two mail carriers in the Summerlin area. A postal inspector said a male and a female approached a carrier on February 11th near Mesa Park, struck her and demanded her keys. Just over a week later, another carrier was robbed by a Hispanic male with a crowbar. Two people were involved in this robbery as well. Anyone with information regarding the robberies are encouraged to call 877-876-2455 and reference the case number on your screen. A new audit finds that State Department of Corrections overcharged prisoners for supplies and medical co-pays. The audit by the governor's finance office says that the department assigned weapons purchases to the wrong cost categories and that the director's office racked up high overtime costs during the pandemic. In its response, the department accepted recommendations calling for it to write regulations for prisoner supply prices and to set reasonable co-pays. And in more news, Governor Steve Sisolak comes to Las Vegas to read with students. Do you ever need to take medicine to be healthy? Yeah, I think we all do sometimes. The Nevada governor was at R. Guild Gray Elementary School Tuesday for the Reading Week event in order to share the importance of reading among students statewide. Reading is so important. You know, when my kids grew up, read every night. I think I've read every Ber Ber Bernstein Bear book 10 times. But it's important to have that time with your kids and read them and, and share that time and that experience. The love of reading is something that lasts a lifetime. Sisolak proclaimed the start of Reading Week on February 28th. Now to today's weather report brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Sunny skies with a high of near 79 degrees is forecasted for the valley this Wednesday. Partly cloudy skies tonight keeping us warm, lows around 54 degrees. For the rest of the week, we'll hit around 81 degrees Thursday, breezy conditions and a 50% chance of rain Friday heading into the weekend. This system will bring temperatures way back down. Friday's highs will be around 65 degrees. In your health news, most of Southern Nevada COVID numbers are down, but Clark County is back in the CDC's high COVID transmission category. That's because as of Tuesday morning, the county's case rate was about 119 per 100,000 people. That's more than double the rate a week earlier. Still, the county's average daily new cases declined, along with the 14-day test positivity rate and the number of people hospitalized with confirmed or suspected cases. Sports, brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. Golden Knights head coach Pete DeBoer reached an impressive milestone Tuesday night, earning his 500th career victory. 
beating his former team in a 3-1 to one win over the San Jose Sharks. You know, you just you, you feel fortunate that you've had the opportunity to work in the best league in the world. So, um, you know, and in order to, to work for that long, you have to win some games. And we had a lot of people contribute to, to the fact that uh, I'm still getting an opportunity to work. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. March Madness is here with the start of several college basketball conference tournaments, with the winners earning automatic bids to the NCAA tournament. In men's tournament starting today, Murray State is the minus 200 favorite at the Westgate Superbook in the Ohio Valley. Bryant is the plus 125 favorite in the Northeast, and Longwood is the plus 180 favorite in the Big South. Tournaments continue until Selection Sunday on March 13th. In your lifestyle news, the Great Las Vegas Coffee Shop Giveaway announces it's ready to move on to the next phase with six finalists. Out of the more than 80 pitches, Dinette Simple Diner, the Tipsy Buffalo, Random Act Diner, Winnie and Ethel's Downtown Diner, and Savage Fine Diner and Tavern were selected. The winner of the giveaway will get a custom-designed restaurant in the Hunt Ridge Shopping Center with everything needed to get started. Each finalist will have the chance to cook for the public and for judges at the Vegas Test Kitchen. See the concepts for yourself at LasVegasCoffeeShopContest.com. In your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYearNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada, something for those who like to be first in line for the biggest shows. Early bird passes for Life is Beautiful 2022 go on sale Thursday at 10 a.m. Passes start at $345 and go up to nearly $3,000. These can be purchased at lifeisbeautiful.com. The Big Music Festival returns to downtown Las Vegas on September 16th through the 18th, and we're expecting the lineup to be announced in the coming weeks. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. And if you're watching 7 at 7 on YouTube, don't forget to give us a like and hit that subscribe button down below. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.